Hey there everyone, this is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com and I wanted to do a dedicated video for you when wiring up the brushless motors uh, on the MSD sub drivers because the, uh, the dual motor setup is a little bit different uh, obviously than the single one and there's been some confusion so I just wanted to put a video together and show you how it's done. So let me switch the camera here and we'll take a look at what I've got on the bench. So here is the uh, the setup. We've got twin motors here, and this is a two and a half inch diameter cylinder. We've got two BL Heli electronic speed controllers, and this is what they look like. A lot of uh, you get your package, and you're like, I don't have a speed controller, but this is this is them. They're just nice and tiny. Um, you'll have your uh, uh, universal battery eliminator circuit right here and uh, and this is the wiring so we've got main power coming in and this would be like 11.1 .1 volts from your lithium polymer battery and that gets split three ways uh, one each would go to each of the electronic speed controllers and one to the battery eliminator circuit now um, actually you would actually have a, a fourth one to your pump your air pump as well and they all go off the same main power so the uh, battery eliminator circuit gets installed in the receiver like that. The bottom two ports are ground and main power, 5 volt power positive respectively. And the top wire, the one closest to the hump here, is your signal wire. Uh, typically either orange or uh, white as you can see. Uh, the servo leads for the electronic speed controllers get attached to a Y connector. It looks like this and that goes into channel three of the receiver. One thing about uh, about soldering in these connections, and I don't have the heat shrink on here yet because I wanted to show you, uh, these are both exactly the same and they're oriented exactly the same. We want to make sure that they spin counter to each other. So um, in this particular case, I have these wires coming out uh, this way uh, center wire is always common and then the outer two basically control the direction that the motor spins so you'll see in this case uh, I got the ESC's wired up opposite each other so um, this is the circuit board up and we've got the three wires and this is the indicator light up and we've got the three wires and so they're opposite and so uh, in theory, when you power them up, the motors will spin in opposite directions to one another. So uh, I'm just going to turn on the radio. The radio is on. Always radio first. Turn main power on. We've got big, bright LEDs. You heard that startup sound from these really cool uh, speed controllers. And that indicates that they are getting signal from the receiver. Uh, I've also got two peripheral servos hooked up there and you can hear, maybe see them working. All right, so they work, they're on channel one and two and now let's test the uh, speed control on channel three. And they're spinning opposite each other, nice and smooth, everything is working Perfectly. So this is the setup uh, if you're looking to uh, get clarification on how the wiring gets put together. I hope that helps. Uh, I know that this stuff can be a little bit confusing. Uh, this video hopefully will outline how you would set up dual motor outputs on the MSD subdriver um, or any dual motor setup that you got going on for whatever project you have. So if you have any questions, reach out to me at any time, uh, bob at rc-sub.com. I'd be happy to help you out and talk you through any issues. Um, if you have ongoing issues, I do recommend that you join the Dive Tribe, and that link is at the top of my website. Uh, that's a group of, uh, of RC submarine nuts that gets together every two weeks to talk subs, uh, go through problems they're having, challenges they're having, show off their projects. Uh, it's really, really cool and absolutely worth the pittance of a price uh, that I charge to have access to that. So thanks for joining me. Uh, again, this is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDrydocks.com. Thanks for joining me.